Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this look for you guys that I'm wearing right now. It's kind of a peachy, pinky, summertime kind of a look. It's very simple, um, nothing too elaborate, very easy to do. And I wanted to take advantage um, of using some of the products that I purchased just recently. If you haven't seen my video, I'm gonna link it down below, but I did um, make a video on these new products that I purchased. Um, I think it's titled Let's Talk Makeup uh, New Products and I'm using all of the products that I mentioned in that video as a first impression to let you know my thoughts on those products. If you're interested in watching on how to get this makeup look and also know my thoughts on those products that I purchased, um, go ahead and keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe before you guys head off to watch my video. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. I already tuned. applied my um, moisturizer. And I'm just going to go in with the Magic Lumi um, primer. I'm going to apply that all over my face. And this is going to make my skin look a little bit more luminous so it's not as dull looking. It's going to look kind of like that glow from within. And I'm going to go with my Milani Conceal and Perfect. I know you've guys seen this a thousand times. I know that I need to change it up. But when you, it's so hard to change it up when you find something you really like. Just because, I don't know, it's hard. <laughs> You guys know what I mean, right? Okay. So I'm just going to apply some of this all over my face. And I'm not going to go super heavy handed with this. I'm just going to kind of just dab it in some areas. try out for the first time my Tarte Quickie Blending Sponge. It looks like this and it's definitely gotten a lot bigger because I did rinse it in water. And this is so, so soft. You guys, if you haven't tried it, ugh, it is super, super soft, super squishy. Once you wet it, it feels really nice in comparison to the, the pure, it's super hard. I just... I just don't like those sponges. So I wanted to try this one out and I think this is very comparison to the Real Techniques and even at that this is I feel is a lot softer than the Real Techniques sponge. So I absolutely like it. Now we're just going to test it out and see how it actually blends. Because it's one thing to be nice and soft, we want to make sure that it also blends out concealer nice. Blended out my concealer beautifully, as you guys can see. The thing I want to do is I want to go in and just very lightly because I'm going to use a um, a powder that I wanted to try that I got brand new. But um, because I usually use a different powder anyways to set my eyes, we're going to continue as my normal routine. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply this in my under eye area. My face I want to go ahead and try out the Dior skin nude air powder um, and I did if you've actually seen my previous video I just posted a video up about two days ago on um, let's talk it I think it was titled let's talk makeup new products and this I'm gonna do kind of that first impression with all those products that you saw in that video so I am gonna use them all the, again this is the Dior skin nude air powder and this is in the shade medium beige which most likely is going to be a little bit dark for my skin but we'll give it a try if you haven't tried this out I, I am super obsessed with the packaging you guys i think the packaging is beautiful i love that it comes with its little kabuki brush i think it's just really nice i am going to go in with a fluffier brush just because it's less product down the kabuki brush is a little bit dense so it picks up a lot of product and that's probably why you can see that harsh. Sorry. It goes on a lot lighter with the fluffy brush. Because with the Kabuki brush, it did go on a little bit too strong. But even at that, like, I think the color looks really nice. I think the color actually matches. It does give us a, a nice um, finish. 
It doesn't look dry or cakey. Yeah. Overall, I do like it. I'm, I'm really digging this powder. Now, the next product that I'm going to go into before I actually do any other part of my face is the Bobbi Brown Brightening Finishing Powder. And I know it's another finishing powder. I just, I'm assuming this can go on top of your normal powder. I'm not sure. But we're going to definitely give it a try and see if it does give that brightening effect. Um, and I think I'm going to try it out more as to see if it's like a, I wonder if it's kind of like a, um, like a highlighter maybe but it looks like this super pretty and I'm just gonna use another fluffy brush this is different so it's a little smaller than the other one that I use and these are by City Color okay so maybe it's just intended to do that is you guys see any products on there um weird I'm just kind of rub it in there maybe I don't see anything happening <laughs> and I hope that's not the case because this is this is a pretty penny this is not cheap okay well I see I see what it's doing I don't know if you guys can see. Let me just dust this off. Sorry, you guys. If you guys hear my kids, school is out and they're in the room and he's playing PlayStation and he's frustrating because he's losing. So if you hear him yelling and arguing, that's why. If you guys have boys, you guys know how it is. Um. I don't know <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep on playing with this I don't see much of a difference I don't know if you guys can tell I don't see a lot of product coming on on the brush even when I rub it with my finger it's very subtle oh there it goes okay so let's try it again maybe it's just me maybe it's just the way that I'm applying it mm. maybe had that layer you kind of have to scrape and scrape off Okay, I don't know if you guys can tell now that I, I kind of had to um, scrape off that, that top layer a little bit with my finger. Um, it does, you can definitely tell it has a little bit of a brightening effect. It's not super um, illuminating, but it has that kind of glow um, look to it. I mean, it's not something super noticeable, but it's definitely you can you can definitely tell. I don't know if you can see on camera, but with the with the mirror, you can actually tell a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and work on my eyes a little bit because I do want to use a mascara that I purchased also, and I'm gonna do a first impression on that as well. Um, but I don't want to do the mascara and then do my eyeshadow, so let's go ahead and work on the eyeshadow. Okay, and I'm going in with this shade right here from the Carly Bible Palette. And that's just my transition, and I'm just going to dust that all over my crease. smaller blending brush and I'm going to go in with this darker shade right here let me pull this out it's going to be this shade right here I'm going to go ahead with a fluffy um, Mally brush there's no product on here I'm just gonna go in and buff out any edges any harsh edges I've been dying to try this shade this pinky shade right here and I'm just gonna apply that all over my lid that shade is so pretty I don't know if you guys can see it 
It's actually one of my, it's actually one of my favorites, but yet I haven't used it. But it's one of my favorites. To see? Okay. I don't know if you guys can see. This is super pretty, you guys. I love that color. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. The only bad thing about these shadows, I'm getting a lot of fallout. Which sucks because I already put on my concealer, so. I'm just gonna have to work with it. Maybe it's just the brush, or maybe I'm not using the, the best brush for this. This shade right here, which is the darkest shade of them all that I wish was super dark, and of course, they just decided to put eh, and not so dark, but we're gonna go ahead and go with it because we don't want anything super harsh. And I'm just gonna apply this really close to my lash line. I want to do um, before I finish up my eyes with the mascara is I want to highlight my inner corner and for the inner corner I'm just gonna go in with this frosty pink shade I ended up using that same inner corner for my brow bone I didn't like it so I went over it just with a matte beige color which is this one um, and I'm just gonna lightly to go in with the Hypnosis um, Volume Mascara by Lancome. And this was also one of the products that I mentioned on that video. And we're going to go ahead and try the mascara. Again, this is the Lancome Hypnosis Mascara. And right off the bat, I can tell you I love the wand. The wand is a perfect size for me. Sometimes when they're too big of a wand, it gets all over my, my lid. Or in my eye. This one's actually kind of perfect size. Doing a really good job in separating my lashes, making them look a little bit longer. From this eye to this eye. I think I like it. I am really liking this mascara, you guys. Um, I'm really, really liking this mascara, so, so far so good. This one, just the right amount of product comes out. Do you guys see that? And I think if I let it kind of sit a little bit or dry a little bit and I go in with the second hand, it would look really, really nice. I'm liking it. I'm digging it. Sorry, I don't mean to. So this is the other item that I purchased. It's the Morphe R36 brush. And I do really like it. I like how it's kind of tapered and then it fluffs out. Um, and it has that pointy edge, so I think it's good. It applies just enough product, but doesn't overdo it. Boom, there you go. That's what I was looking for. And you can't see it too much on this side. It's just because of the way the light's hitting me, but, but it's there. I'm just gonna go on with my chin. A little bit on my cupid. I don't like highlighting my cupid's bow too much just because it brings a lot of attention there. And I have really dark hair, so I try to wax as often as I can, but sometimes, you know, girl, me just ain't got that time. And if I go to highlight in that area, Ain't nobody, ain't nobody want to notice my mustache. Yeah. That is real life, you guys. That is real life. <laughs> the things we do for beauty, huh? I'm gonna go in with the lipstick. And I actually received two lipsticks. So I wanna try first one shade, and then I'm gonna try the other one for you guys, okay? I'm gonna go in and line my lips. So I got my lips lined. First shade that I'm going to be going in with is my Giorgio Armani in Rouge Ecstasy or shade 102. Looks like this. It's a red shade. 
and it's a very nudie, kind of a cool tone nude. So I'm not sure how it's gonna look with this eye color, but we wanna, I still wanna try it out for you guys. I need to scrub my lips, so after this, I had to go scrub. My lips are super peeling and they're just gross. This is what that shade looks like. It's a very nudie shade. It's so pretty. It's very creamy, very soft. It goes on really smooth. I think it would go on a lot better if my lips were just freshly um, scrubbed. But the color is beautiful. It, it, it matches fine with the, with the look that I'm wearing now, but I want to go in and try on the other lipstick, which is the Guerlain. Um, lipstick in Lady Pink. It's the Guerlain Kiss Kiss Lipstick in Lady Pink. And it looks like this. And I think it's going to match a lot better. It's going to look a little bit more of a monotone, monochromatic tone um, with the eye look, but it's fine with me. Um, I'm actually really liking this lipstick, you guys. I think it's beautiful. But I'm going to go ahead and switch out my lipsticks and I'll be right back. There you go. Um, I really like this lipstick as well. I think the other, um, the Giorgio Armani lipstick applies a little bit more of a thicker consistency and a little bit more smoother. This one um, is really pretty, but I think in some areas it may look a little bit kind of that thick. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Leave your comments down below. I love reading your comments. I love interacting um, with all of you. If you don't follow me on social media, I do have a Twitter account. I have an Instagram account. Those are the only two I have for the moment just because my Snapchat and my Facebook is more for a private kind of um, an everyday use. But I will be getting a Snapchat that will be more for interaction with the YouTube community. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week and enjoy your Memorial Weekend. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.